Hello again, Struck Club. May is finally here. New month, new games to play. I will be making two separate videos for upcoming water and not so water games. This one is the high profile, the ones whether uh, it's strip away titles or games I'm extremely excited about or games I believe would, um, would uh, let's say, generate some hype. Um, for one reason or another, I think those games are a high profile, so this is my list of 10 high profile upcoming water or not so water games for May 2022. There will be another video for the wall profile, the underdogs, uh, which still need um, some loving. So, uh, hope you enjoyed, buckle up and let's go. The first game on this list is the game I'm the most excited about May um, 2022. From the developers of uh, Lava Potion, that's the studio, um, Songs of Conquest. What I would describe personally as the spiritual successor to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Um, it's what Ubisoft couldn't do with the franchise after buying it. I think this, this game has a ton to offer. It will be an early access game release, so on May 10th, 2022, you won't be able to play the full game. But you will be able to play a serious chunk of it. Um, it's strategy, pixel graphics, turn-based game um, with a lot of RPG elements, 2.5D, um, nice world. Uh, and um, apparently um, there will be uh, a lot of things to come after the game launches um, uh, before the final release, before it's uh, finished. There's going to be an in-game level editor, which is the best thing about it. Uh, you can play with others, there's factions, you can build an empire, wage war, there's town management, I mean, all the things you could expect in Heroes of Might and Magic 3, and then some, um, including uh, extensive itemization system. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed, it's coming for various platforms, such as Steam and Epic and GOG, and you can use the links in the description uh, for some of the games, the creator links, when it's Epic or Humble. Um, to grant me some profit while getting the game, if you feel like it. Next we have another game that I'm kind of excited about. Um, we'll see. It's gonna be kind of uh, more expensive than usual because it's a Warhammer game and all the Warhammer games are kind of expensive. 44.99 euro is uh, the non-discounted price for the base edition for Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Uh, developed by Complex Games, coming out in the 5th of May 2022. Full game, no early access here. And um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting turn-based uh, semi-strategy tactical game. Uh, if you like uh, those games, uh, you would enjoy it. It's 3D. Uh, it's in the Warhammer universe. There's plenty of things um, in terms of content and in terms of uh, units and um, factions and so on. So, I think it's worth um, giving it a try if you have the spare money to spend. Next come some um, epic exclusive games. Well, exclusive at least for a while, maybe six months. And the first one of those is the Vampire The Masquerade Swan Song. The new game, the new title uh, from the Vampire The Masquerade uh, franchise. Developed by Big Bad Wolf. Uh, available, well, launching on the 19th of May 2022. And uh, yes, there will be a lot of things. You could play as three original vampires. There's going to be gameplay with consequences. Uh, visually, the game looks beautiful. It looks amazing. Um, you will be able to play as Leisha, MM and Kwop. Or Kwop? Is that G or C? It's hard to read it where I'm reading uh, on the Epic Store. Uh, in any case, um, yeah, I think it's G, Gabe with the G. Um, it's going to be a very solid, very solid RPG, single player RPG um, with an amazing story. And um, I mean, Vampire the Masquerade was an amazing franchise back in the day and it being revived now and uh, is getting new titles from it. Um, seems great. So... Keep it on your list, um, 19th of May, Vampire the Masquerade, um, Swan Song. Um, they're exclusively on the Epic Store. And a reminder again, you could use my uh, creator link in the description or just type TOF uh, on checkout. All capitals. 
Another game I'm excited about, but this game could turn into a risky purchase. First of all, it will be an early access game. Achilles Legends Untold, coming out on May 12th, 2022, for Steam only, developed by Dark Point Games. It's a Diablo-style action RPG, uh, kind of 2.5D, but with 3D units, just fixed camera, isometric camera. And uh, again, it, it could be a risky purchase, depending on the price, and um, the trailers are showing us some good stuff, but they're not showing us much about endgame. They're showing us you could play with another person, but um, both of you are using Achilles, the same character. So sure, maybe there's going to be some other um, other uh, various uh, build diversity and stuff, so you can um, still uh, have different classes. But so, um, yeah, it seems strange. And also they're saying Deep Combat inspired by the Souls-like genre which is a red flag for me for a Diablo style game but we'll see we'll see how it goes it looks promising as long as the price is good and the game doesn't disappoint uh, it will be nice we'll see eventually um, on the 12th of May if Achilles Legends Untold um, is a game worth your time and money or whether it needs to go back to the drawing uh, developing board now we have another epic exclusive game Evil Dead the game Step into the shoes of Ash Williams or his friends from the iconic Evil Dead franchise and work together in a game loaded with over-the-top co-op and PvP action. Uh, and the good thing is uh, there's iconic characters from, um, all, from all the movies of the um, Evil Dead franchise. Not just the movies as, as well as the series. So you have Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, uh, Army of Darkness and... Um, I forgot the name of the other one, just a moment. And um, Ash versus Evil Dead. So all those um, characters from all those uh, movies and the series are coming. And uh, Bruce Campbell is also voicing over in the game. Uh, probably some other guest stars as well. You can play as good or evil. And uh, it has off the wall visuals as they're descri describing it. So... Yeah, it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice shooter, um, and considering you have co-op and multi and PvP multiplayer, it will be pretty fun. It will be pretty fun. Developed by Saber Interactive, uh, coming on the 13th of May, exclusively on the Epic Store. Again, reminder: you can use Truck TOF on checkout or use the link in the description if you wanna provide me with some profits um, while you buy the game. Next, we have a game uh, from um, well. Not so popular, but still kind of popular franchise, Sniper Elite 5, the fifth game in the franchise. This time it's in France. The award-winning series returns as Carl Fairburn uh, fights to uncover Project Kraken in 1944 France. The genre-defining uh, authentic sniping with enhanced kill cam has never looked or felt better as you fight across immersive maps to stop the Nazi war machine in its tracks. Releasing on the 26th of May, 2022, developed by Rebellion. And it's gonna release on multiple platforms. Epic, Humble, I've also got a creator called, uh, called for Humble, not just for Epic. Steam and the Microsoft Store, including PlayStation 5, 4, Xbox Series XS1, and as well as Game Pass. But I don't know if that's Game Pass for the Xbox only or the Microsoft uh, Store as well, whether it's a PC Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass or both. We'll see about that. Well, if you like sniping, if, you, if you're if you a fan of the franchise, um, if that's your thing, well, Sniper Elite 5 is coming um, near the end of the month, the 26th of May. Some time ago, I let people know about V Rising by Stunwalk Studios. It's releasing on May 17, 2022. And it's, at first glance, from some of the early promotional material, it, it would seem like it's a Diablo style game, but it's not. It only has an isometric camera and action RPG hack and slash combat, but it's more of a survival game than the initial trailers let on. I played the beta and I cannot give you details due to NDA, but um, I can tell you that uh, it's very grindy, it's very slow paced. Uh, when it comes to the early um, early beginnings of the game when you're 
um, developing your character. It's very slow to get new skills and to get new equipment and better equipment. Um, and I just don't like it. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you won't like it yourself. If you like survival games where you join a server and uh, play for X amounts of days and then you have to start over on a new server once you're done with this server, then that's your game. You can you can uh, build your own castle. Um, you have to constantly get certain materials. You have to deal with the light and the sunlight and stay in the shadows. Otherwise, you take damage from the sun. Um, and uh, yeah, you can conquer, you can fight, you can um, join PvP or PvE servers. Overall, uh, V Rising is not a bad game. It's just not a good fit for me. But again, it doesn't mean that you won't like it yourself. Um, it's it's looking good, the animations are good and fluid, uh, it's just very slow uh, progression, very grindy, especially in the very early days um, of a server, of, of your progress on that server. Now, a game that used to be um, Epic exclusive and it's no longer going to be such. Old World. Um, your typical forex strategy game with RPG elements, historical game, it also has co-op. Um, it was exclusive for Epic, but now it's also coming to Steam and GOG. Uh, developed by Moho Games and releasing on the 19th of May 2022 for uh, Steam as well as GOG, which also I think brings you to Steam. Um, I've got my creator code in the link in the description. There's also a Steam link in the description. Since descriptions are limited, I didn't include a GOG link for it. But um, you can just go in GOG, type Old World, and you find it. Um, it's nice. Uh, it's been very well received for a 4X game. Uh, so if you're a fan of the genre, this is my suggestion for, uh, for this month. If you were waiting for the Steam or GOG release, if you were not one of those... Uh, um, if, if you were not a fan of Epic, if you're one of those people who are not fans of the Epic Store... Well, Old World is finally coming outside of it. Now we have another early access title. My Time at Sandrock, which is by the people who made My uh, Time at Porsche. It's the new My Time at game. If you liked that um, beauty casual game, I think is the best way to ca call it. it. It's too casual even for my taste. Uh, too casual even for my taste, but that doesn't mean some of you out there won't enjoy uh, something a little bit more chill like the My Time at Sandrock game. Uh, releasing on the 26th of May 2022, developed by Patia or Petia Games. Um, and yeah, it's going to be an early access game, meaning it's not going to be the full game you get uh, right away. But it doesn't mean there won't be good stuff in the game. There's already been a 500,000 wish list. That means there's going to be a lot of people to play with um, uh, when it comes to online co-op. There's also local area co-op if you want to play with um, other people on the same network. Um, build your workshop, explore the open world, extensive stories for NPCs, new combat, skill up and a lot more. If you liked uh, my time at Porsche, this is the game for you. If you never tried it but want something uh, extremely casual with some combat and fighting, this is also for you. It's got farming, uh, crafting, gathering, etc. All those things. And it's got an open world, so worth giving it a try, especially if they price it well. Um, I've included Epic and Humble links, um, partner links uh, in the description. It's also coming on Steam, so Epic, Steam and Humble. And I've decided to include one more game. It might not be that much high profile compared to some of the other games, but I think there will be still um, a following for a game like this. Um, Neptunia x Sendran Kagura Ninja Wars. It's the Neptunia crossover with the Sendran Kagura anime. Which I've not watched, but I just researched it to see what it is. And it's, uh, well, it's an edgy anime. If you're into edgy anime with a bunch of chicks, um, sure, that would, that would be the game for you. I've never played an Emptunia game, so I don't know if the game itself will be fun. But the combat looks fun. It looks like a nice action RPG. If you, if you can get past that, um, that anime girl's um, protagonists and stuff, or if you like that type of stuff, um, 
then this is the game for you. Um, releasing on the 11th of May 2022, Idea Factory, uh, Compile Heart and Thumb Software developers. Uh, it's a solid blend of uh, action RPG and JRPG mechanics with the modern um, um, JRPG action combat you see. It's a 3D game and again, it's a crossover between Neptunia and Sandra and Kagura. Um, so I think people would enjoy this one if, if it's their kind of thing. To get notified when I upload more content like this one or other builds and guides for Wooter and not so Wooter games, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to not miss out on notifications. As well as uh, keep in mind there's something called memberships on YouTube which lets you be uh, a paying member for my channel to get access to perks such as emotes and badges made by me as well as the option to get one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring for the very basics of adobe photoshop premiere and after effects and memberships can be cancelled at any time if you no longer want to be a member uh, thanks for watching all the way until the end struck keep it cool until next time and goodbye